busy though. Busy. Yeah. Uh, depending on which team you were supporting, you might be, you know, uh, undergoing through some uh, metamorphosis. Yeah. But uh, the EPL is over. Yeah, Chelsea uh, supporters are very excited. Well, they didn't find out. They knew already they'd won. Yeah. It was just a joy of seeing that moment of lifting <laughs> the trophy. And Robin Toskin uh, is here. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, guys. You. Good to see you all. Mm -hmm. um, so crowning moment happened, finally. Yeah, at least uh, it was a happy moment for the Stamford Bridge Brigade. Yeah. Uh, they were really happy that finally the EPL trophy has gone back to Stamford Bridge uh, for the first time since 2010. Uh, so they, it was a moment, you know, to serve after, you know, beating uh, Sunderland in that final game of the day. Yeah. And, and so it, now they have how many trophies, sorry, titles? Yeah, they Chelsea. should be now on uh, five titles. But five? Of course, uh, yeah, since uh, the, they first lifted in 1955. And then that uh, goal, uh, trophy drought, you know, extended all the way until the coming of uh, Jose Mourinho way back in 2005. They started now winning. Okay. Uh, EPL trophies. Okay, and this basically marks the end of the EPL, right? Yeah, the and EPL is now uh, going on a recess uh, mm -hmm. until uh, sometime in August uh, when uh, action re will resume. But of course, not only in England, all the European leagues have now come to a close. We've seen uh, Barcelona declared champions in Spain. Uh, PSG in France are the champions. Uh, Bayern Munich won it uh, uh, with about uh, five matches to spare in the Bundesliga. And of course, again, in Italy, Juventus have been declared champions. Oh, also. fantastic. And uh, well, I guess for many uh, in golf, they have what they call golf uh, widows. Uh, mm -hmm. These men who just disappear and you know just play golf. <laughs> uh, so I don't know whether football we have football widows, but football widows can now be happy that their husbands can be coming home early. Yeah, I think it's good news for them. And uh, Sophia is here. I'm sure she will also share in the joy of the fact that men will now be going back home early. <laughs> well, seeing that um, <laughs> there's no man in my life left. Yeah. Anywho, yeah. Um, quick one. You talked about Chelsea having five. Did you uh, just say that? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I know, that's all. You put me on the spot with that one, okay. Robin. Um, but five titles. So take us through the others, two, three, and four positions, and how many titles they have. I always like to rub it in for some people mm. to just remember Manchester. where Manchester, that's Manchester United, United stands. Still have some. Yeah, even if we didn't win. Uh, I know there are some uh, Arsenal uh, sympathizers inside here, mm -hmm. uh, and I know that uh, at the beginning of the season, they were saying really they were going to challenge for the title, but of course they, they finished third. What uh, next season? Manchester City finishing second. Okay. Uh, but they of course, uh, uh, the, the, you great know, the, the great Manchester United, they are in a rebuilding uh, process. Yeah. They finished fourth. Uh, but this gentleman here will be telling us really what does it mean okay. uh, for those teams you know, finishing way behind uh, Chelsea. Okay. Sawa, take it mm. away. Okay, thank you. Uh, a total of 29 goals were scored uh, last night as curtains came down on the English Premier League with Chelsea being crowned champions for the sixth time. Hull City were relegated despite a nil-nil draw with Manchester United. Mourinho is back there winning trophies. And of course, we don't want to talk about uh, Arsene Wenger here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, uh, why is he talking like this about Arsenal? Arsenal first is a big club. You know, it has taken the trophy 13 times. It has won the league 13 times. And uh, looking at Chelsea, it is just their fifth uh, uh, six, okay. And looking at other clubs which have uh, done that, we have like six, seven clubs before the, before Chelsea had, uh, who had done that. Uh -huh. So if you ask me, like right now, mm -hmm. that uh, trophy means a lot to Chelsea. Mm -hmm. First of all, you know, they are building for next season. They have that momentum. Mourinho identified where he needed to strengthen the team mm -hmm. yeah, before the start of the season, went for those players, bought them, and you saw what they did. They started the season well, kept the momentum, and even if yeah, they were shaky yeah. uh, when the season was coming to a close, mm. but finally yeah, they got the trophy, and Abramovich is happy. Yeah, Shadrach I think, and I think uh, a journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. Uh -huh. You know, for Chelsea to be able to be, you know, to get in the books of history of those big clubs, sure. like, you know, rich in history though, you know, like we're talking about uh, Arsenal having 13 titles, of Manchester United having so many titles, you know, they started from somewhere to... Say 20, not so much. <laughs> yeah, but they started from somewhere to, uh -huh. you know, they started from somewhere. I think that's the main reason why they had to bring in a big coach like Jose Mourinho, despite his arrogance. You know, he he has to build this team from somewhere. Mm. You know, uh, I will remind you that uh, he came to England and left and came back and still Arsene Wenger hasn't 
<laughs> Don't rub it. <laughs> of course, uh, you, like you say, Mourinho is uh, uh, an arrogant coach, but uh, coach, there's yeah. always something of a bit of arrogance in those uh, mm -hmm. uh, great coaches. I think I think the hair we live, honestly. Uh, Real Madrid is a big club. The guy is a Spaniard. He wants this Spanish number one shirt. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So for him, I'm not saying if he stays at Manchester United, he's not going to get it, but the chances are slim. Mm -hmm. But if he goes to Real Madrid, he has a big future there. Mm -hmm. If he goes to Real Madrid, right now is the time. He's young. Uh, you know, just like Kike Casillas started playing at Real Madrid or maybe 18, 19. 18 years. You know, uh, uh, Moroni. It was a tough game. Sofa Parker also bagged all the three points against Tasca mm -hmm. thanks to a 2-1 victory at Roraka Stadium over Tasca. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me. Uh, last evening, I was reading through the social media, all the media reports, and uh, uh, there was, there was uh, a general agreement that Gurmaya could actually be st strolling to a third straight Kenya Premier League victory. But Do on you what share grounds? that? On what grounds, though? On the ground that they are beating teams left, right, and center. But how, we, we've seen how them go to, to, a, to Moroni, okay. hostile ground, they win 1 0. Not really hostile. You know, look at the background of Moroni. <laughs> look at the community there. Who are the supporters of Gormai and the Moroni? But if you ask I'm me... Telling, uh, let, me let me tell you my experience when I found out for AC Leopards. Back in those days, uh, we used to have good teams in the English Premier, especially mm -hmm. just behind them. And then, looking at the strikers, mm -hmm. Michael Olunga. Mm -hmm. Michael Olunga right now is in his form. Actual I know, form he's red side. hot. He's yes. red hot. And he's then look hot. at Medica Aguirre. Mm -hmm. And then Frank Natal, mm -hmm. actually has got something. The team the mm -hmm. Gormaya mm -hmm. is playing, mm -hmm. the team is playing nicely. Yeah. You can see the players have yelled compared absolutely. to I other agree teams. With you. So I he's, agree with he's you. coming from uh, the I point of view you, that uh, Moroni coach uh, Francis Baraza, uh, after that match, went out, you know, bashing the referee that uh, he really favored not, But he had a point there. No, it was not clear. Clear. What, what, what was the point? What it was a handball. Uh, what I'm trying to say, I'm not saying Golmaya are playing so bad. No, they're playing well. Mm -hmm. The playing unit is good. The, uh, the only problem I have with these big clubs, why, why are we going for foreign players when well, we have Kenyan players who can do the job? Yes. That's the only problem that I have with the managers because I, I, we need to build our ambassadors. I, I mean, forgive me, I'm a patriot, no. I'm a loyalist. Talk, 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 but talk my, point is, my yeah. point is, my yeah. point is, how do they, how's the officiating Golmaya? When they win, why do people complain? Okay, yeah. Why do Talk only their fans cheer them up? But other people will be like, ah, yeah, they won, ah. Trust me, their virginity will be broken soon. Mm -hmm. But talking, talking, why do you talking, think talking uh, of officiating, yeah. it's not the first time you've had uh, coaches complaining. But why go right here? All of their work FC Leopards go have gone teams. down to uh, position five on 21 uh, points. Mm -hmm. uh, they are losing ground on Gormaya, who are on 33 points. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think they can turn around things? Come I think. June? I think the problem is not about the playing unit. I don't have a problem with the playing unit. The players are giving it all. You know, at the moment, they're giving it all. But, you know, for FC Leopards, I think, I mean, look at Gormaya. They're selling bread. <laughs> Let him do something. Sell tea, for Christ's sake, or Ugali. <laughs> That's, if, if, you know, Mukombera. You know, do something. <laughs> the management is all wrong. They are I don't, and it, it, it's such a shame for a historical club like that. <laughs> I, I hope you can stand. I hope you can stand, I hope you can stand before FC Leopard's fans uh, to Nyai Stadium and tell them to do that to sell. Uh, what Apart did you from say? Getting my job <laughs> broken. Let, <laughs> let us wait. Let us wait for the second well, for the second uh, round. Uh, but that will depend uh, on how the transfer season will be conducted. Mm. If players won't leave and if maybe FC Leopard's, if the management uh, maybe gets a sponsor, sure. that will be a different thing. Mm. And uh, I don't expect Gormaya to go and beat in all the season. And the second season, uh, the second round, the second leg might be very different. Okay, uh, moving on now to mm -hmm. maybe as we wind up mm -hmm. uh, the FKF Premier League. We've seen uh, really quite uh, good organization in the FKF Premier League. Mm -hmm. We've seen, uh, you know, an 18 team league, mm -hmm. one that many people maybe thought that it could not happen. We have seen it happening. What, uh, what, what is happening at, uh, in, that, in that league, Seth? Uh, first of all, you know, Communication is good. If you yeah. see the teams, uh, they're being communicated in time. And then also organization, uh, as you asked me. Sure. For example, uh, we have not seen them flashing on the field thing. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the teams, they know what they want. Sure. That is, we have been given the opportunity. So we want to show that we have something. The players have come out, for example, looking at the likes of Zuccaricho, Poster Rangers, looking at uh, Kakamega Homeboys, the way they're playing. So they want to show something. If we won't take this opportunity and show how organized we are. 
then it means that uh, that will send a very wrong message, a very wrong signal to mm. those who are watching us, those who thought it will not happen. Mm. So I think that, has, uh, that is why we are seeing that in any organization. That's why we are seeing all the clubs doing what they're supposed to do. That's why we are seeing quality. That's why we are seeing goals. Mm. And they want to prove a point. Kakamega Humbo is topping the table. Mm -hmm. And uh, Zukericho, who are topping the table over the past uh, two weeks or mm -hmm. so, were beaten last evening by Kariobangi Sharks. And then there was crowd trouble. Yeah. For God's sake, in, uh, you know, in you know, uh, FKF. FPL. You see, there's a Swahili saying that says, Fahali uh, Oilio Piganapo Nyasi Mumia. But uh, sometimes uh, that means when uh, two bulls are fighting the grass, uh, we, 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 it's in danger. But sometimes when two bulls are fighting the grass, will benefit like in these skills. The FKF uh, uh, KPL Rangos have benefited the, the second tire based in the fact that people want to prove themselves. But doesn't mean that there's, uh, there's, there, there has been some poor officiating and some allegation. You see, uh, like, um, just same like someone reasoned that uh, the problem with KPL is that we're having uh, the Gormaya chairman still being the chairman of the league, so his team will be favored, the same as uh, the FKF. There's a lot of games that Karibangi Sharks is playing and winning, mm -hmm. and people are complaining. Nick Mwando, who's the chairman of Karibangi Sharks, is the, 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 the chairman of the league. And people are like, this team doesn't deserve to win, they're just being favored. You know, so there's those <laughs> allegations that there's poor officiating on both sides. There's a, I think uh, there's a game that was played. Um, uh, was it Zuke Richard that even... Again, uh, yeah, Zuke Richard versus yeah, they, Agrochemical, there you know, was the, the match, the, There was crowd trouble, the, the, the match didn't even end. Mm -hmm. you know, so these are incidences that we are, we are seeing that um, you know, we can say that KPL might be better because in KPL they have, all the matches are complete. Despite you know, there might be some crowd trouble here and there, mm -hmm. but security is tightened. Why can't can, uh, FKFPL do so? Uh, maybe, you, 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 maybe, you've, you've maybe, been watching most maybe, of those maybe matches talking about and that, an avid yeah. fan of the maybe, same. Maybe, maybe talking about that, yeah, I've had the privilege watching a number of matches, the FKF Premier League matches, and there's something mm -hmm. uh, Ndenga, mm -hmm. I'll not uh, agree with you. <laughs> yeah, first of all, coming to the officiating thing, mm -hmm. just going, how many complaints have you heard from the FKF? Why because, why okay. because the lot. referees who are there, many of them are officiating there. And then number two, <laughs> looking at Zuccaricho, yeah. uh, I think there's, so something, up, there's a problem this with their fans. Because when they played against Agro, they were on a losing end. The match was almost coming to a close. Okay. And then there was trouble. And then looking also at uh, Karibangi Sharks, they were losing. Again, the fans created trouble. So I think it's something which uh, the management and everybody should look into before it goes uh, Thank you very much, uh, gentlemen. We can go on and on because uh, football is uh, you know, a game of passion. But of course, uh, looking forward this weekend as we wind up, uh, the Kenyan women uh, national team mm -hmm. is playing in the return match against uh, Botswana in uh, uh, in Machakos. I mm -hmm. hope you guys will make your way to Machakos and watch the do. Kenyan so I have a lot women. of friends who play in that team. Very so good I team. They lost 2-1, them. but of course yeah. they are saying they have the advantage because yeah. they scored th via Mary Kinodia. We hope that away goal will give Kenya the advantage. So until next week, this has been your presenter, Robin Toskin, with guests Shedra Kandenga and Seth Onserio on a sports chat this morning.